And welcome back everyone. You know, finally today we pay tribute to a gentleman who is retiring from the Tennessee General Assembly later this year. Representative Curtis Halford has not been a traditional farmer per se, but he sure has supported our farmers and the agricultural industry. And recently the Tennessee Farm Bureau Federation paid tribute to his many years of service. Mr. Speaker, this may be one of the most significant meals I've ever passed in, in my 14 years here. This is, this is going to give all the farmers across Tennessee a great, great uh, advantage over what they have now. So uh, it, it has been my, my honor to carry this bill. And so I thank you members for, for voting for my bill. Thank you very much. How fitting on the last day of the 112th Tennessee General Assembly that Ag Committee Chairman Curtis Halford's bill to modernize the sales tax exemptions for our state's farmers passed unanimously. And that's been a recurring theme for this West Tennessee lawmaker who has always kept his farmers and the rural people at heart. Thank you so much for This was so, so special to me, especially since it was my last bill possibly on my last day here, so how, you just don't get any better than that. But the significance of it to farmers all across Tennessee, that is going to be a strict boon to their uh, way to, uh, to make a living. And so I, I, I can only be proud that, that I was the one that was chosen to do that. Curtis Halford grew up in Obion County with two younger brothers where their parents had a small farm and were adamant of teaching responsibility and a strong work ethic something he and his wife Charlotte of 57 years have worked to instill in their two children and five grandchildren from their home in Dyer. She's actually from Dyer, right here in Dyer, you know, and, and I didn't know her before. Oh, there's a little place downtown. It's, it's not the same place that it was, but there's a cafe downtown called Toot and Tell It. And back in the day in the 50s and the 60s, uh, the way it got its name was that uh, you had car hops and um, uh, you'd pull up and toot your horn and they would come out and take your order, you know, so it got named Toot and Hill. And it's still there today. It's in a different building. And that's, that's where we met. He graduated from Kenton High School in 1961 and then received his certificate in accounting from Drawn's Business College in Memphis where he was student body president. He enlisted and would serve in the Air Force and Reserve for several years. He started working for Delta Foremost Chemical before returning to Gibson County, where he worked for Tyson Foods in Humboldt for seven years until the plant closed. He then started his 28-year career with Dyer Fiberglass, first as production manager and then plant manager until he retired in 2005. The Hoffords had been dedicated to their family and community, serving on numerous civic organizations and remain active in their church, Cumberland Presbyterian. He was serving as a Gibson County Commissioner when the District 79 House seat became open in 2008. He was encouraged to run and has made a positive impact in Tennessee politics ever since. Curtis Halford has been uh, critical for you know, modernizing and advancing the needs of our farmers and producers across the state. So many important ways that he has led in this state. It's been a true honor to work alongside him. And this particular piece of legislation is fitting for his, uh, for his last piece of legislation. Very proud of him and very grateful. I've said this several times to several people, you know, that uh, one of my best ways to decide how I was going to vote was to, was to poll my Sunday school class. Uh, because I, it, it ran the, the gamut from right to left and most everybody in between, you know. But if, if we had a big vote coming up, then I'd hold my Sunday school class on Sunday morning. And uh, we would go over the things that were important, of course, to Farm Bureau. And uh, they were my sounding board. They were my, my go-to people. Helped me uh, be informed and, and, uh, and make things run a whole lot smoother. But that and your staff, you know, you know better than your staff. Uh, that's for sure. Commissioner of Agriculture. From the beginning of his tenure in the legislature, Curtis Halford requested a seat on the House Ag Committee, and for the past 10 years, he has served as chairman. And over the years, he's carried or supported numerous bills to promote and protect the state's farmers and rural people. And Farm Bureau honors his years of service and his commitment to our most important industry. That puts me in, in, in great company is what that puts me in, in that category. When you mention the names like Ron Ramsey, John Wilder, and 
and Steve McDaniel, you know, uh, those are those are heavy hitters. Right? So to be a part of that class is, is, is very, very, very much an honor to me. Ms. Clark, please take the vote. Aisles 95, no names. Senate Bill 905, I received constitutional majority. Everybody declared pass without objection. Most Rick Sears table. Chairman Curtis Hoffert receiving a standing bill, ovation on his last bill on his last day in the General Assembly. Chairman Curtis Hallford, a true friend to our farmers and the state's ag industry.